financial advice, not legal advice, for entertainment educational purposes only, and anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, and like YouTube algorithm stuff, so you get the videos I put them out, see what I'm thinking, see what I'm analyzing that data, but we got to tell you every day, the day they release us is false, but it gives a false narrative to markets, so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, the hedges are having liquidity issues. And like I told you in previous videos, and I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell any stock, but but we know we can't depend on the SEC to police the market. We can't depend on FINRA, DTCC, or CFTC to enforce their rules because they're not going to do it. They have showed us over the last 30 months that they are in bed with the hedges. They are in bed with the 1%, and their main objective is to rob retail investors. I mean, that's just my opinion. That's my analysis of what I've seen over the last 30 months, and that's what it is. But here's the thing. In April, they lost $11.57 billion that investors have taken out of the hedge funds. That's billions with a B. $11.57 billion. So you know what that means to me? That means the, hedge, the hedges' liquidity is slowly drying up. And as I said in previous videos, when the liquidity dries up, is when we should start seeing the MOAS. That's when we should start seeing the MOAS. Because once your liquidity dries up and they're forced to sell their long positions, they will then be forced to close out their AMC, GME, MULN, BBBY, and all the other shorts that they have been holding for so long. Yes, they have been violating the law. Yes, they've been engaged in criminal activity. Look at the naked shorting, look at the FTDs, look at the dog pool volume. All of that, to me, is overwhelming evidence of fraud, corruption, and malfeasance. But being that our regulatory agencies sit on the sideline, well, they sit on the sideline when it comes to us, when it comes to this, the stock market, but they have no problem being aggressive when it comes to crypto, which, as I said in previous videos, they really don't have no authority to police as far as I'm concerned. But that, 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 that's for another video. The bottom line is this. The SEC won't enforce the law. And in my opinion, the only way we see our attendees is when the liquidity dries up. And they already lost $11.57 billion in April. They'll probably end up losing more in May. As the liquidity dries up, we should start seeing our attendees. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think... That the hedges losing eleven point five seven billion in April of two thousand twenty three is that helpful to everybody who's long in AMC, GME, BBBY, and MULN? Anyway, have a great day. God bless. I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.